Hello guys, welcome to Dublin The Tech and today we will be checking out one of the newest products from Dark Flash, the Radiant DC series. What we have here is the 240mm version in white. So before we start, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're updated every time we upload tech videos like this. Dark Flash Radiant DC240 liquid cooler is widely available in the Philippines now and you can buy them in Lazada, Shopee or your favorite PC store. It is currently priced at 3,400 pesos for the white version, 3,250 pesos for the black version, and 3,400 pesos as well for the pink version. Quick specs for the Radiant DC240, it supports all RGB softwares like AuraSync, MSI Mystic Lite, Asura Polychrome Sync and Gigabyte RGB Fusion. It has a fan speed of 800 to 2000 RPM, 84.2 CFM, 2.54 water pressure, and a noise level of 16 to 30.15 decibels. Radiant DC240 is compatible with the latest sockets for both AMD, which is up to AMD5, and Intel LGA socket. The packaging for the Radiant DC240 is really nice. With lots of text and details in the box, you can also see some features and specs at the back of the box, and most of all, it's sturdy enough to protect the product inside. Upon opening the box, we have the user manual, accessories, and the Radiant DC240 itself, together with the two 120mm pans already installed. For the accessories, we have the one set of Intel mounting brackets, one set of AMD mounting brackets, dark flash thermal paste, four pieces of thumb screws, four pieces of LGA 2000 series stand-up screws. We also have four pieces of LGA 1700 stand-up screws, four pieces of LGA 1150X and AMD stand-up screws. We also have the AM5 stand-up screws, radiator screws, and mounting bracket screws and a four pieces of rubber o-rings. Lastly, we have a three port hub included as well that supports three four pin PWM ports. For the quality of the Radiant DC240, Dark Flash promotes the DC240 with increased stability, lifespan, and performance based on the structure of their pump. The pump has a copper base water block to dissipate temperatures and provide stable and faster heat transfer. It also features corrosion prevention and improved CPU contact resistance for better cooling capability. It also has two 120mm fans with 9 blades equipped with anti-vibration pads for low noise levels. About the bearing used for the fans, there are no specific details about the type of bearing used for the fans in the DC240. Even other reviews don't have much info on the bearing. We will be using the AM4 mounting kit included for this particular test as we will be testing out the Radiant DC240 in an AM4 system. If you are using the Intel mounting kit, please refer to the installation guide but if you will be installing it on an AM4 system, then you can follow us on how we will install it. Also, if you will install the Radiant DC240 for the first time, you will need to remove the stock AMD mounting brackets. You will need the included accessories for the AM4 socket like the AM bracket, AM backplate, AM stand-up screws, and the thumb screws. So after installing the Radiant DC240, there's no notable issue aside from having a hard time arranging the pump so we can have the logo in a good position. Since the logo in the pump doesn't have a rotation feature, you will need to pick either a good cable management or a good orientation of the pump. 
As for the test system, we will be using the Ryzen 5 3600, Asus B550F Gaming Wi-Fi 2, and Be Quiet Pure Beast 500DX case. We will test the Radiant DC240 on IDA64 for 15 minutes in a closed and open air scenario on default settings. We will not touch any fan settings in the BIOS or other parts of the system as many people will install the CPU cooler as it is unless they are enthusiasts. But for the purpose of this testing, we will not touch any settings and let's see how the Radiant DC240 performs out of the box. Also, we will install the Radiant DC240 at the top part of the Be Quiet Pure Beast 500DX and we will have fresh air coming from the front mesh panel with two fans. All the fans here are also stuck so they will run in the full settings in the BIOS. Lastly, we will be using the stock thermal paste from the Radiant DC240 for this testing. As you can see in the test we did in two different scenarios, Radiant DC240 is performing really well. If we compare them to other 240s that have tested in past, it sits where 240 AIOs usually perform. You can see the Radiant 240 performs really well even on open or closed case scenarios and it didn't affect the performance too much. However, noise level on the other hand is pretty bit loud on the other side compared to other 240s that I've tested in the past. I always use every AIO that I've been testing for day-to-day -day use and usually sit beside me either below the table or at the table. This one even though it was not on full load, after several minutes the PC was turned on, it started to ramp up the noise level due to the fluid heating up. Temperatures are good though, I didn't see any kind of spikes in both stack and overclock speed but if you are in a confined space or small room like me, I think you might want to tweak the fan settings in the BIOS to lower down the noise level. In conclusion, Dark Flash Radiant DC240 is really good in terms of aesthetics, cooling performance, and supports for RGB softwares. It can handle both stock and overclock speed without any issues like temperature spikes or temperature throttling. Aesthetic-wise, it has a lot of options like white and pink which is commonly a need nowadays in PC builds, not to mention the support on many RGB softwares. ARGB lighting effects and RGB connection as well. It also has a PWM fan hub which is good and will save you PWM slots for other fans for your case. Price is also competitive however if you consider the lack of rotatable pump housing it might be a difficult choice for beginners or enthusiasts who consider design and symmetry. Even the installation might need someone who's experienced in installing an AIO because it's a little bit complicated and lots of things are needed to install this liquid cooler. Also, if you consider the other choices in the Philippines at around 3,000 pesos, you have a lot of competitors who offer more features like techware, ID cooling, and deep cool for liquid CPU cooler segment. But overall, Regent DC240 is really good for its price and built really well. A recommended product for anyone who loves to build theme gaming PCs or for enthusiasts who consider the price of performance. And that's it guys for a review of the Dark Flash Radiant DC240. If you have questions or corrections, please let me know in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye!